guys, this is Morkberg here with my Samsung phone collection for September 2020. I have 68 Samsung devices and I have them arranged from smartphones and in the back to basic phones. So let's begin because this is long. Starting off here, I have two Samsung Galaxy J3 Luna Pros. They both work, however I only have a battery in one of them. This is my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. It's got some screen burning and it's cracked, but otherwise it works fully. Here's my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 on Verizon. I modified the software. Here I have four Samsung Galaxy S3s. Three of them work. This one has a bad AMOLED. This one here is on T-Mobile, this one here is on Virgin Mobile, this one is on Boost Mobile, and then this one here is on Sprint. I installed Cyanogen Mod 10 onto here and gave it the Nexus boot animation. I think it looks very nice. Here's my Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit. I bought this thing brand new almost a year ago during Black Friday. It's a pretty nice phone. It cost me only 30 bucks. Here's my Samsung Mesmerize on US Cellular. Now, this thing did work, but you may have known that it had severe cracking and now it's gotten to the point where the AMOLED is bad. Moving on up here, we have two Samsung Galaxy Grand Primes. They both work even though this one is the only one with the battery in it. This one I modified the software, so now it doesn't have any of that cricket junk on it. And then this one here is on T-Mobile. Moving on, here is two Samsung Galaxy S4s. This one is on Cricut and this one is on Verizon. I modified the software of this one here. And then this S4 here has some issues, which make it unusable. It turns on, but it's just very slow. Here is my Samsung Behold 2. This works fully. And then here, I have five Samsung Galaxy Core Primes. These four here are on T-Mobile, and then this one is on Metro PCS. And they all work, all five of them turn on. Fun fact, this one here used to be my main phone some couple of years ago. I got it in 2016 and used it all the way up until the summer of 2018. Here's my Samsung Galaxy Express Prime. This works fully on Android 7. Here's my Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 on Sprint. This is soft bricked and I cannot fix it. Here's my Samsung Galaxy Note 5 on AT&T. Now I don't know what's wrong with this one. It does absolutely nothing. Here I have three Samsung Galaxy S6s. They all work, on, and they're on Verizon. I downgraded all three of them to Android 5.1.1 Lollipop, so that's pretty cool. And then this one here in the case, it has some screen burning even though the housing is in mint condition. This is my only Samsung Galaxy S5. This is on AT&T. It works fully. I downgraded it to Android 5.1.1. Here's my Samsung uh, Galaxy S Aviator on US Cellular. I got a battery for this thing and it works fine now. However, I did find out that I have to put the battery into a different phone to get the battery to charge. 
Here's my Samsung Galaxy Express 3 on AT&T. This works fine. This is my Samsung Galaxy S7 on track phone. I broke it by uh, my own fault because I was trying to put a, a different device's software onto it. It was for, uh, I believe, the G930U. Well, this is the G930VL. And that kind of sucked because I put almost $10 into fixing this thing. I got a new battery for it and it, I bypassed the Google lock and everything. So it worked perfectly fine. Here's my Samsung Galaxy J3 Prime. This here works perfectly on the Android 7. I got it at the Eco ATM over a year ago. Here's my Samsung Galaxy Prevail LTE. This does not work at all. Here's my Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic on Sprint. I put a custom ROM on here, CyanogenMod 10. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Moving on to basic phones here. This is my Samsung Comment 2 on Cricut. I bought this thing brand new on eBay for about $18. I actually have the original box for it right here, if you can't see it. Or more like if you can see it. Here's two Samsung SGHT301Gs on track phone. These both work fine but do not have any batteries in them. Here are two Samsung SCHU410s on Verizon. They both work fine but they're out of battery. Here's my Samsung Convoy 3 on Verizon. This works perfectly. Here is two Samsung SCH R451Cs on track phone. They both work, but don't have any battery in them. Here's my Samsung Sway on Verizon. This is untested. Here's my Samsung Highlight on T-Mobile. This thing works perfectly, even though there's a line across the screen. Here's my Samsung Comment on Cricut. And this thing here works totally fine, but does not have a battery in it. Here's my Samsung Freeform on US Cellular. This thing also works fine, even though it doesn't have a battery in it. Here's my Samsung Reclaim on Sprint and this thing works totally fine. Here's my Samsung Messenger Touch on Cricut. This works fine. Here are two Samsung SGH S125Gs on track phone. These both work even though they are out of battery. And then this here is my Samsung Trance on Verizon. This works perfectly. This is my Samsung Snap on Verizon. This works perfectly fine even though it's out of battery. Here is my Samsung SCH A670 on Verizon. This works totally fine even though it's out of battery. I've had it for quite a while at this point. It was one of my first 50 devices. This is my Samsung SCH A850. This here is untested. Here's my Samsung SPH A660. This works fine, even though it only works on the charger. Here's my Samsung Flight on AT&T. I've had this phone for basically four years at this point. It was one of my first 25 phones, so that's pretty cool. And this is my Samsung SGH T105G on track phone. I've had this for a long time at this point. Also, it works totally fine even though there isn't a battery in it. Here's my Samsung Stunt on Cricut. This works totally fine. Here I have three Samsung Gusto 2s. They're all on Verizon, of course. These two here work fine even though this and this one here has issues. This is the only one that has a, a charged battery in it. Over here, I have two Samsung Brightsides. 
on Verizon. They both work perfectly fine even though they're out of battery. Here's my Samsung SGH S390G. This works totally fine. Why is it on? I, I must have left this on. I'll, re I'll restart it for you guys just so you can hear it. Start up. Since you'd like to hear that. Here's my Samsung SGH T139 on T-Mobile. This does not work. Here's my Samsung Slash on Virgin Mobile. I can't remember if this thing works or not, so remind me in the comments if it does. This is my Samsung SPH M330 on Sprint. This works totally fine. Uh, the charging port here fell off, but it doesn't have a battery in it. Here's my Samsung Gusto 3 on Verizon. This works totally fine even though it's out of battery. And then here is my Samsung character on US Cellular. This works perfectly fine. So now let's unlock these devices. my Samsung phone collection as of September 2020. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.